Generic greetings and welcome back once again to a chill session on Kingdoms and Castles where in the previous episode loads of things happened but let's focus on the Vikings that are turning up. Actually we've got a little bit of time so a quick recap we managed to get a couple of things done. We got some research from the Great Library which is extra 25% damage for our archers. Uh, that's the towers by the way. We have also have archers now on the wall over here as you can see and in order to do that we needed to place in these castle stairs which have worked out. We also have have one, two, and three statues, and obviously more people on this side. So pretty good. We also need to produce more food and get more people and just generally progress on. So that's what we will be doing in this episode. So these guys are coming down almost certainly this way. Let me just double check. One, two, three, four, and yes, they're actually all at this direction so that is fine so the archers we're going to select both squads of archers and bring them to this corner because almost certainly that's where they'll be going and then we have our three knights which are going to basically come and sit around here because why wouldn't they although one of them is oh, actually they went i don't know if you saw that they actually went in there and then came through that way so it seems to be a like a way through so there we are and there's <laughs> a that, that's a vertical seagull. Um, they are, oh, no, no, no. They've, uh, they've realised that's not actually possible. And since when were seagulls VTOL? <laughs> we have a VTOL seagull, a vertical takeoff and landing seagull. And to be fair, it is near the witch's hut, so any experiments could have happened around there. Anyway, we can see from this direction on, we have our Vikings coming in. They are already getting shot by our ballista towers and the merchant has arrived probably just in time to sell us some mercenaries and there's our archers firing out away there to the vikings and that was a nice little volley so that's good to see there's more coming in and looks like they do a couple of volleys and then stop and they are now heading as we expected around the outside but the main thing is yes exactly what we wanted and expected they're going on the water and they are slowing right down so we are able to basically just put them in this choke point and they're taking so much damage finally they'll get in and then our knights will basically chew whatever's left of them up and there goes all the banners dropping down and that is it completed uh, we do have a little bit of damage on Sir Gilliam here, uh, 56 of 130, so we'll tell them to recuperate but that is basically it, very very good indeed we have now, positive, uh, positive food storage there. Let me double check to see the advisors. The advisors are saying, hang on, why is it over there? Oh, it's because we have to move the screen. Don't know why that required some <laughs> noise of exertion, but there you are. Grow more food that we can store. Rats eat the excess. Oh, we grow more food that we can store. Kingdom is happy and content. Perhaps we should raise taxes at a treasure room. And Vikings are coming. Let's fortify the best we can. Oh, more Vikings. Yes, they are actually still coming. Another wave of Vikings. This time a little bit quicker because they're using our roads, which is always a disadvantage. <laughs> but I'm not worried. Yeah, I'm not worried. And jump on them. Dead. That would be done. Oh, where are the Vikings? If there are any. There are four sets of Vikings, but they are just the boats left. So that's it. Okay, good. 94% happiness, trending towards 98. Peasants are in excellent health and the 25% glad Vikings were destroyed in the invasion. Wow, well, destroyed. Okay. We have good charcoal. We have good, well, not good almonds because we're not producing them, but uh, we have decent tools. So overall, quite happy with that, although stone can be a little bit of an issue. Actually, no, stone's fine. It's uh, iron. We do, however, want some more money, and the way to do that is to get another uh, castle treasure room, and we can place a treasure room. And I'm going to place a treasure room probably in an area that we've recently cleared. So... Do we want to place it there? I'm not entirely convinced that is the right place. Maybe around here would be good. Actually, I mean, that tile there would be very nice. So that is a tile that we can remove. So over to our rock removal and then we'll place, or at least place that down there. Um, with the removal of the rest of this, we should be able to place other things as well. There's our music gone back to our nice content one, which is good. And let's just remove all of these. You can see we now have people that are idle. That's because we don't have as much building, so... There you go. Speaking of building, um, I mean, we could just 
<laughs> Do you want to build straight across? I mean, it's tempting, isn't it? It's very tempting. Let's go ahead and remove the trees. So cancel and uh, no, remove trees. And I want to remove all of the trees along there and along that side as well. So one either side of either side of this. And same thing for for that one. So we'll tell them to remove that. Also, we'll tell them to remove that cave in there as well. And then we'll bring that wall right across. And we may even have some more forestry. And we also have another mine over there as well. So there's loads of options for us to expand to. But in terms of timber, we are not using a lot. So, you know, hopefully what we have is okay. But very happy with the repelling there of of those so that's pretty good another advantage we're coming over this side is the fish stocks there are loads of fish stocks so one in this corner probably place one here to get those and then another one in this corner to get those so three extra fisheries that will require more fish mongers though we do have a fish monger there and it's yeah we have people there as well resource available for pick up none but it takes a while for them to go back and forward to fish there as well what if I can click on these boats? Can I actually click on the boats themselves? It doesn't look like, and I can't click on click on the people. But they're fishing away quite nicely. Right, so there is our villagers who are coming out. This is, yeah, coming up to 120, I think. And they're going to chop down all of these trees and remove the extra bits there that we don't want. I'm just looking in there. You can see those rocks are being removed, which is very, very good. Tax rate 25%, which is fine because of the happiness. Turning towards 74, but that's not unreasonable. We are putting this tax back into the people, essentially, because we're obviously we're going to get things like, well, let's go for improved bread ovens. Increase the speed at which bakers can make bread by 25%, which is something that we want to do over here as well we need more bakers because we don't really have much bread there is all of that now done which is pretty nice to see and realistically we can just build right across and this one on the end i will put at the maximum height followed by everything is at double height oh that's wrong double height which is there and that's <laughs> that's the expansion of that so that's going to take quite some time in fact i may go ahead and add another one to I think a third level in that. I think that's about the right... I think that is the right height, but we'll check that later on. And then we'll place another one of these blister towers. I'm not bothered about archer towers so much anymore because we now have mobile archers, which are, I believe, I assume better. Um, it does say damage per second 49 because they are highly skilled, whereas these guys, it doesn't actually tell me. Okay, I wonder if we have any way of knowing will it tell me in the archer school it does not okay fine we have this section removed there so i think we can place another oh there it is that's the bit i was wanting to be removed so over to here over to the treasure room and then we're going to place another treasure room there and that allows us to have more tax collectors and indeed store more money and because the game doesn't have thievery in the game well not unless you class vikings as uh well more raiding than thievery but yes you know what i mean hopefully so we have all of those all of this wall getting built obviously we don't have a way through to it i will demolish all of that and i'll demolish all of that followed by all of that and that and i mean let's we'll get rid of that and there we go there's the wall going in that's getting removed And that will go right to the end. I'm keeping in these towers for things that maybe fly over. And on the end here, in no particular order, I'm placing in these towers as a sort of defensive line. Which I think is about right. And then we'll put on the top of those some blister towers. One, two, three, four, five. And I won't place this one here because I don't know if that's the right height or not. We'll also need to place castle stairs. 
in places like um, like that because I don't want to go any further because the plan was to build a fishing hut in this corner sadly it intersects with this one because if you place too many of them it's a problem sends a fishing boat out to fish nearby must be near fishing grounds be careful not to place too many fishing huts near one area and overfish so we could place that i wanted to have one around there and then one around there which we could probably still do what we'd have to do though is have an entrance way here and then it come out and along which isn't a problem because this area i think eventually is prime real estate for an iron mine for another forestry area because we've, we've only got the one really sustainable at least anywhere on this side and the fishing there maybe even farming but I haven't yet uh, truly decided this these towers here I'm going to keep maybe this one we can get rid of though I prefer one more in the middle um, let's demolish that one there and there we go that's removed all of those for the roads we'll expand them where we need to I'm going to place a road around here just to make it you know <laughs> a bit of a feature quite like that and then obviously roads can come down and across and we can have more people around this location here because well we need that so manor house there's a couple of manor houses in and they are near the tavern there and indeed a small market we also have a well, but not one close enough for us. I'm also very concerned that we have a library over there, treasure room there, and a clinic there, but the closest there's a clinic. I'm trying to find the nearest there, yeah, so the hospital's over there. So we need a clinic around these parts, so I'm gonna do that. So we'll have a clinic in around here. Right next to the tavern so if there was some I don't know advanced states of refreshment that people were in and some inebriation then maybe they come out hit the face on the tiles get taken to the clinic not ideal not healthy but we're hopefully going to mitigate some of that there's our swine herd in there just fitting in the corner <laughs> and I think we will yes we definitely have to look at some farming so looking at farming here, I'm going to place these in areas where it is very fertile. So even though these are not at the edge, I could place one there and one there. So that would work, one there and one there. And then could place some more here. That would also work. Um, actually cancel that, demolish. What? We've got these others in the same orientation. Do I want to turn them around? I don't think so. I don't think it really matters. Maybe we'll make an effort of actually turning them to the other way. Like that. Those should do for now, I hope. Followed by, well, we need the farms in, naturally. There's our farms. And we also need some storage so we're going to place some of that so this will be a granary we will place a full granary in here like so and I also want to place a couple of bakers in here so baker and baker and the farms go along there as well and then this area for whatever we happen to change it as. Got a little bit of space there. Do we need a well? No, we got a well just opposite. So we've got a bit of a space here for whatever we need. What may be of some benefit there? We've got two bakers. Uh, storage is good. Windmills. Don't need produce. Don't need a butcher, I don't think. Place another small granary in there if need be. Why not? More storage. It's always always useful. So there's a lot more farming there. Naturally, we don't have the jobs <laughs> for the well, we don't have the the people to 
to work on that, but let's see. We need more manners, which means we need more food. Uh, sorry, you need more wood. Alright. Looks like all of these defences are in now, as you can see there. Well, they're getting built anywhere. This one is... Is that at the correct height? I believe that's the correct height, so we'll go with that. So that'll require a ballista tower. Rich requires timber, which we don't have. So that's an option then. We could place some, maybe some timber producing stuff out here. That'll obviously require, it's in industry and a forester, which, I mean, we'd have to build some more roads, but it's not a big problem, is it? So where's the best place for it? There and there. So what I'll do is remove some of those, remove that. I'll then extend either side and then put in some forestry either side there and then even place a stockpile just outside or just inside. You know what? I'll remove that. Demolish that one. I'll place a small stockpile in there. Small stockpile. There we go. And that will hopefully function as intended. We can see we've just got a harvest in and they're all legging it from this field because this nearest storage is actually that place because these ones are not yet built. Very nice to look at in the in the winter isn't it? We've got lots of features in the center but over here it's becoming very urban isn't it? Very suburban. Just housing after housing after housing you know it's just like a so a council estate. Uh, maybe a large fountain will help out. It's possible. It would be nice. Maybe a, a large fountain. I think we should make a feature of something. Have a large fountain and a market. Yes, that will require a irrigation system, which is possible. So let me look at that in a moment. Let me finish what I was doing over here. So that one two three one two three yes that is correct forester and a forester good and they'll obviously get the wood from there maybe even be able to chop from there and then i mean i technically don't need a road to it so i'm probably going to leave it and just put another forester there and that'll hopefully get us some more wood this one here Zero for everything. We don't want anything stored in this location other than timber. That's all that thing is for. In terms of tools, we're on minus three. I would assume that, well, that, that's that's to be expected, I guess, because of our, you know, extra building. Um, tool use, I'm going to turn it off for... Oh, you can't turn it off. I was going to turn it off for farmers, but they don't actually have it. We have our merchant ship. We have a special item. Hmm. Special upgrade available. Beautiful tapestries. These will hang inside your keep to help decorate the place. 150. We've bought that. It says thank you. Hmm. Prestige lot. A mighty keep to house royalty such as yourself. Beautiful tapestries hang from the walls. Well, I mean, that was worth it. <laughs> okay. Fine, we, uh, we've we got that. Let's go over to selling here, and we will go ahead and start selling some more. Well, stone, for example, two or four we can sell. Um, we'll just sell all of the... I was going to say carbon, but charcoal. Um, is that correct, though? Is it just carbon, mainly? 50 armament, no problem. 22 of those. Complete the sale. They don't really have anything I want. Oh, they do have tools. So 47, I'll buy, I will buy those tools that they have, special items being bought. From here then, what have I set this to? I'm going to say 500 for the stone, and that should be about right. There we are. 821 people now, a couple of, pe couple of people idle as well, but once we've got these jobs on the go, it shouldn't be like that at all. You can see people are still going to build a lot of these things on the corners there. We should be able to build a ballista tower there, which we can, and we do have access into that, so that is fine. And 
I think then let's go ahead and focus on what I mentioned around here. So we want like a nice market square, a nice feature. So we actually want a market, which will go... I mean, we've got a small market in that corner, haven't we? But I think we'll redo this. We'll have a market there. We're going to have right next to it, or right opposite, I guess, we'll have a large fountain, which will have to be irrigated. But we should be able to do that. In fact, even better, fountain right in the middle, followed by some lovely gardens around the outside. Yeah. And that means we've got the market and all of that. We also want a town square, which I will place in here. And that will... I don't want to place it over here. I might place... I might do that and place it here. It might look a bit better. This market then, I'm demolishing. There's no need for it once that's in. In its space, we don't really need to place anything at the moment, but we would probably benefit from, there's a library over there. We'll need a church as well around these parts. Maybe even another bathhouse. That isn't a problem. I think a clinic. No, we've got a clinic there. There's just nothing else I need in that corner, to be honest. Quarry, no. Charcoal market, definitely not. Hmm. Another treasure room? Possibly. Place treasure rooms all over the place, why not? Let's see how we get on there. One thing that is slightly troubling is all of this here is very fertile, so it's really good for growing on, and I'm aware that I'm pretty much building housing on it, and that doesn't sit well with me. So I don't think, I think this is as far as we'll go with the housing there. Housing will go on this side, all on this land that is barren. And we'll have it this, so that this is this is forestry. Uh, sorry, this is farming. I may even remove that house and put them over here. In fact, it's getting demolished now because we did have the right amount of beds. Going to demolish that. This other house, I will leave for now. I think the furthest we'll probably go is along here to there and then across to that bit there and we'll demolish these. Probably not that one because it'll go around but the reason I've left those two is because we can have, well there's a couple of things we have, we, we want and indeed need. So we want a... Where is it? A town square. And in this area, see that fountain is no longer functioning. Well, it was never functioning in the first place. But we can make it function. And we'll do that by placing... If I can find it... It's going to be in the last bit, isn't it? No, I've just obviously went straight past it. Okay, I really can't see the wood for trees. Where is the Noria? There it is. We need a reservoir to power that. Which... Oh, to be fair, if we place a reservoir there, it'll just work. And even if I... Actually, if I just demolish that, that'll be... like I think that would work. If I just demolish that. But that's going to probably stop the bathhouse working as well. So let's see. Let's get that built quickly, but that should that should power that. And this little bit here, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Or do I just remove the road? There's no point in removing the road. I won't gain anything other than one space. But that, I'm very happy with. That looks nice. All the little walkways around. It, it's taken that edge off this just concrete jungle that we were going for. So I'm happy with that. Very happy. We haven't got a tavern over this corner. Maybe a tavern there. Oh, that would be very nice. And you can see that we did remove one there anyway. So that just seems to be na like a natural placement for it. 
Good. Good. Sometimes these things slot into place and it works out. Trending towards 75 happiness. Health is at 95. 835 people. Beds is 838. So we need some more people. I think another bathhouse is required. But the question is, if I place it here, is it within is it within the range of that? And also, am I using too much water? <laughs> does it oh, actually this might require physically connecting up? I think it does. So we'd have to run the water along here and round, which would spoil the splendor. So instead what I'd do is run it down this way and place it in this corner. Because I don't want I don't like the idea of a big uh, aqueduct coming right through all of these gardens. That's nice. It's the game does have a very nice charm and beauty to it. It's own charm and beauty. Food is minus seventy, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. But it seems or oh, it's still over a thousand food. Money's good. Charcoal is in the negative, but I'm guessing some of that could have been. Because I it could have been because I spent loads of money. I spent loads of the wood, and we didn't have enough to make the charcoal. That is possible. Tools are a problem as well, but they've always been a little bit problematic, haven't they? Minus two. Right. Okay. Well, once that tree is removed, what I'll do is place another couple of charcoal makers in here. There's two more charcoal makers. I think that will hopefully be enough. Next dragon attack is imminent. I wonder where they're coming from. It's actually a long scroll to get to two places. Ah, there we go. Oh, look at that. That's lovely. We have our fountain bubbling up there. We have little flowers, even in winter, here. And all the market getting sorted as well. Oh, there we go. That's very nice. We've got our market. We've got all the flowers blooming on the gardens. Oh, that's what you want to see. Nice if the pub was open. We now have dragons. Big dragon. Little dragon. Big dragon. Heading into the centre. And getting shot to bits. Although it's taken a while for these to rotate. And they're heading towards the keep. They're actually heading over and past. Maybe they were just passing through on the holidays or something. And we're the bad guys here just plastering them with big arrows. Where's the other one? Ah, the other one's upside down. Okay, fair enough. That's that's generally not how they how they fly. Not known for it. And it's it's heading off here. Maybe it's just decided this is not a nice place to be. It's too it's too, <laughs> it's too much defense. I think it is leaving. I think it is actually leaving. Really? So we didn't kill the dragon. We didn't actually slay the dragon. I'll just read that it says ocean when we get to the edge there. <laughs> yeah, this minimizes. Okay, they've left. Um, happiness has gone up. Plus 20 excited about the recent dragon kill. And you can see they are taking bits off it. Good grief, which is quite morbid when you think about it, but there you are. This is all getting built, which is excellent. We want then... I say a bathhouse. Over here we want probably a bathhouse, hospital. All of that is what we're looking at. I don't see any need in placing it anywhere else other than here. Because if we look, the area of effect is such that it gets... I mean that bathhouse... Oh, to be fair, that bathhouse gets most of this. So do we need to place it? Do we need to place another one? Doesn't say we need another bathhouse, so perhaps not. 
cathedral is in a good area effect, but not a church. I think another church would be nice to place around here. What I'm going to do then is place it in there. And we'll have a lovely little cottage at the back. There we are. Actually, you know what? No. Demolish. If we were to place the bathhouse there, would it work? Place it there, and then we can connect everything up at the top. Then it gets all of this edge and most of what's over there. But it's unlikely we'll have housing over in that corner. Okay. Mm, it might be a mistake, but we're going to try. Place also a manor house back here. And another reason for doing this is to force me to build around this instead of a grid. Because I'd be accused of doing grids. Yeah, we do have grids. It is very gritty. I mean, not always so. I like the way these are fit in. You can see it goes up and round. And I mean, it's, we're not going to do crescents and such, shall we? Because the game doesn't allow us to do that. But oh, that is... That, I know I'll keep going on, but that is very nice. I do like that. That's cool. Right, okay. So this is getting built, which means we need more aqueducts. We need a reservoir as well. So the reservoir I'm going to place in... Here. And then the aqueducts... Will pretty much go... To there. In there. And then to there. And that should work. It might spoil a little bit of the splendor from around this part, but it should be all right. We can collect up to 4,000 gold now. What options do we have then from the library? We have stronger sales and improved construction techniques. Well, improved construction techniques is the one I want to focus on first. Hmm. Yeah. Because the other one we don't even care about, realistically. Reduces construction costs by 10% for wood and 5% for stone. <laughs> we're almost... I'll be honest, we're almost at the point where we like don't really want to build much more. Stronger sales, increased transport ship speed by a significant amount. I don't know whether having a transport ship would be worth it. I certainly want to do, at some point, another series on islands where we have to have loads of transport ships. That'll be really interesting, I think. Okay, over to our merchant ship, and once again, we're going to be buying and selling. I wish this would use a bit more screen real estate. It's, 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 we've got this scroll bar, but I mean, <laughs> I've got all of this space at the top here that ain't been used. But there you are. 92, I mean, you can just say 99, it just puts the maximum in possible. Um, I don't really want to sell any tools and complete the sale. And they are also selling tools, 53, we will... I'm going to buy the tools. We might as well, we have the money and we are using them. So we're going to get... A, little, a few more people from this. The bathhouse is obviously getting built. And that will hopefully be quite good. You can see... Happiness is only 57 in this home. Which is... Oh, non-available fish. There's no fish available. So we do need some more fish. Well, we can do that around here, as we've mentioned previously. We'd have to put probably another gatehouse in. Um... And strangely, the gatehouse would actually be in here. That would be where it would roughly go to go out and to get to that. That means that what I'm going to do is demolish that and demolish down to there. And the gatehouse is going to go in there. So that will require us to place in a uh, stone gate. Hang on. Stone gate. One. And then... As we've seen previously, just build this up massively. Oh, hang on. Maybe not that far. That might be a bit too far. Uh, <laughs> right. Demolish a couple of those. I think that's about right. Oh, did we... Oh, no. We might have actually went up to the highest possible height with those. Well, that's going to be the stone gate there. That's going to be the way in and out. And we'll have a road coming along over to this where we can have, obviously, iron mines. 
and we'll have another road coming along this way to have fisheries in this corner to get just this side then we'll have another fishery here to get those then another fishery here to get this one and then another fishery here to get that one so we won't overfish because we're not overlapping those uh, those fishing grids so yeah that's what we will that's what we will do and obviously requires storage and all the fishmongers and requires more tools which means we need to iron you know mine the iron so there's actually a fair amount to do there so we can we can look at doing that happiness is trending towards 80 even though we're on a 25 percent tax rate 855 people with 863 beds food is plus 169 over previous we do have an issue when it comes to fish there's not as much fish as we need and i'm hoping that we have baker 27 food from bakeries so it seems to be like these are working and also this is working as well i'm going to set the charcoal here to 200 storage because we want to well we need charcoal for these bakers to function you see but they are baking bread bread for one of each 18 loaves of bread ready picked up by heads of household so they are baking bread and it's quite good the bread because it lasts a full year before it's picked up <laughs> that's that's some preservative for you anyway uh it looks like the bathhouse is up and running there you go i don't know if we need this actually do we need this reservoir we probably don't you know we probably don't i'm still gonna keep it it's fine small fountain around there yeah, why not? We've got a reservoir, we might as well use it. Put a small fountain in there. It's like a little advertisement for the rest of it. Okay, so I think we will leave it there for now. That has been a bit of Kingdoms and Castles and another nice chill one and some good progress. I'm very happy sat back and looked and went, okay, this is becoming just a big row of housing and it's going to look terrible. Um, it would function as we wanted, but, you know, it would just look fairly bland really and that's not what we're after whereas now we've got something a bit more interesting and more functional we have a big market we have obviously a large fountain there a nice tavern in the corner and a town square to run festival we have all of the connections around it which made makes the pathing more interesting we've got these lovely gardens there which is not only receiving irrigation you can see it's increasing happiness around it so basically all the work we've done here which we not only decide well first we decided to do it because it was more interesting and less bland quite, quite frankly it's just made it better we now have also a church over there a bathhouse we've extended along here we've got loads of loads done and i'm very happy with that either way next episode we will hopefully repel this viking attack and the series won't end uh, let's see where they are attacking from oh they're attacking a bit more directly now see that oh dearie me so they are now heading straight towards this area and we can't do much about that because we i mean we've got our knights and our archers but we don't have walls to stop them they're gonna basically hit directly here okay that's gonna make next uh, next episode quite interesting let's see how well or not we fare there we do have three knights and retinue plus two archers plus one two three four five six seven Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ballista towers in range. Probably one archer tower, perhaps two in range. But it's five boats. And, I mean, to be fair, they have an ogre slash giant whatever on there as well. Okay, that's going to make it interesting. <laughs> <laughs> and not as relaxing but let's see how we get on as always that we have enjoyed the video on the series thus far comments in the comments thank you very much for watching take care and the nori network needs to be made better look hmm okay we'll look at that as well right thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings